back here with another technical analysis video as usual guys we're going to look at the main ones bitcoin ethereum xrp the main ones that we look at and at the end of this video guys i look at a key one that i don't usually look at so i, I, I think usually from now on guys at the end of my videos I'll, I'll talk about a coin that could potentially break out or could give you some big profits so the end of all my technical analysis video i'll talk about a gem of a coin um, so without further ado let's get started and as the title of the video guys I am confused uh, with Bitcoin I'm not gonna lie and, and a lot of people are uh, confused about Bitcoin because uh, people weren't expecting kind of what had happened we were expecting a, a more downward action and I was I actually sold uh, some of my Bitcoin because I thought it was gonna go lower and I couldn't have been more wrong I'll talk about it but in the longer term guys not much has changed uh, we're still concerned consolidating and uh, one thing I wanted to talk about first in the longer time frame I wanted to start off in the longer time frame previously guys whenever Bitcoin kind of uh, corrected or moved up in this downward movement we always hit the 618 level and um, I've shown in my previous videos guys that you hit the so watch my previous video if you want to detailed video of that Bitcoin hitting 618 level like there and if you go back again and here as well we've always hit the 618 level on this one we we briefly we didn't hit 618 level we, we closed a bit lower and people were getting bearish because people were like oh it's not very good that we didn't even hit 618 level because we closed be below that which is which people can interpret it as bearish so that's what happened so on this one where am i looking at so if if bitcoin has held these low levels and bitcoin breaks out of this kind of uh, downward movement channel or whatever you want to wedge you want to call it um this could be a key level to look at 690 guys a lot of people are talking about shorting at 680 690 um because it could be a good short because you could just buy up above this level and potential upward risk to reward is quite good but and um, this is a key level guys if it can break above it so it would be breaking above the 618 level which previous swing highs wasn't able to and it will be breaking out of this channel as well so that's a key level to look out for um, so that's Bitcoin. Sorry, I didn't. I wanted to explain to you in the shorter time frame as well, and what I have been doing on the shorter time frame. On the shorter time frame, guys, it, it bounced off this level, and then it broke below this level as well with volume. And again, we saw a green, big green uh, candle, which kind of says that we're going to see some upward movement, and we're bouncing off it. But I, I wasn't sure. I thought, I, I thought it was bearish, and I actually sold some of my Bitcoin, which obviously wasn't a best trade. Uh, but I'm still in, because uh, that's why. I ladder in i don't just jump in and buy a big load uh, i like to get confirmation now it's moving up is on the hourly it's moved above is 20 moving 50 moving all the moving averages if it can ho hold above 250 moving average and break out guys we could see we could be seeing some good upward movement and this is a trade that you could have played i was asleep so i couldn't play this trade but this is a trade that you could have played on the shorter time frame you could try and get an entry but yeah this is what's going on bitcoin unless it goes above that level if you're not in bitcoin you might not want to want to buy it but it's good to see we've seen some really good volume upward green volume so we could go up there um so if you are in a Bitcoin position, you could hold and see what happens. If you're not in a Bitcoin position, you might want to buy on, on, on RSI level bounce or momentum, but on a shorter time frame. But again, you might just want to wait to see how it plays out. I think it will have, it, there will be some action by, um, again, I don't want to make prediction because it is such a tightening pattern. I've talked about it before. We don't, we're not sure what will happen inside bars again. Um, but there will be a breakout. It could break out in a week or so. It could break break out anytime really but i think it will need some news so that's what we're looking at for bitcoin hope that makes sense guys um ethereum guys i am um, ethereum was a it broke below i actually sold my ethereum and um, i think it was there or there i can't remember exactly i've sold i'm not in the ethereum position uh currently and like you see guys it, it broke below it is below the trend line is below the moving averages and it was like an ABC correction, as you can see. Suppose it went above uh, the one, so it's not a, as ABC. Um, if if it stopped at one, I think I could I 
I probably would have sold some. Um, but yes, it's not looking very great on in Ethereum, guys. It, it bounced off the trend line again. It's trying to stay above it. If it breaks above it, you could get into a trade. But you need to look at what's going on on the daily time frames as well. Um, we're still below the 20 moving average on the daily um, daily time frame. So it's not bullish anytime soon. If it breaks, like I said, on the hourly, I'm not really looking at Ethereum as much as I'm looking at Bitcoin. But if it breaks above, um, and then it goes below the goes above the trend line yes you could uh, potentially say it's going to go up it's going to see some upward movement but yes i'm not really looking at ethereum it's, it's in a, such a tightening pattern we were hoping that we'll see some upside but we actually broke the trend line and, and potentially it could break lower so yeah ethereum just keep an eye out on it and i'm not looking to trade ethereum um xrp so guys xrp has been one of my favorite coins to trade Um i i shared my trades on twitter and some good profits a five percent nine percent profits on on some really really good profitable trades on on xrp and obviously if you were holding before this uh, big, big price jump you probably made even even more profit because uh, uh, it went up massively and it's holding the kind of the 50% level now on the shorter time frame XRP I wanted to share with you so as you can see previously the trades we played when it broke out of the trend line it went up now all the moving averages are bunged up, bunged up. Uh, this is a trade you could have played on the shorter time frame I, I didn't play it um, but yes on the all the moving average are bunched up as you can see and if XRP can break above this trend line and the moving averages flip over so the 20 moving average is above 50 and 50 is above 200 uh, or at least you know if 20 can move above this we can see some upside to around this level the 60 cents level um, and then consolidate and move up but we are in kind of this channel this this uh, this correction in a way between 618 and 382 which is quite common guys after a big move we usually kind of move around this level um, and this is what we are seeing now the 50% level is quite key and it's holding this level so we need to see if we can break above this 50 we can break and stay above this 50% level um, and also above this uh, the moving averages are there any other confluence is something that we can look out for which we should really uh, let's have a look it actually lines up with a 236 fib level as well so from this swing low so there is some confluence, so hopefully um, if the, um, XRP can break above this 50% level and stay above from the big swing high and move above the moving averages. So there could be a potential XRP breakout of um, at least. Uh, again, this is the trade you can take, guys. So it's 15% to the upside. Uh, let's put our... So this is a potential. I mean, I like to wait for the breakout but this is a trade you could potentially take the good risk to reward ratio again i'm not yeah, again i'm not saying this is a trade i'll take but you know it, it could be a good setup in uh, in the future according to my trading uh, analysis litecoin is not a coin that i was looking at looking at too much it was moving in an upward kind of parallel channel um, again, I'm not ch channel wedge triangle. Again, it's just it's important to understand the market structure. It's not as important to uh, know what you call it. It's just my understanding, guys, because there's lot of good traders just trade on price action and understand market structure and and volume, which is uh, really important. Because lots of people do not even trade with uh, any in indicators, and I I use indicators because it helps me make better decisions. But again. You could just use price action. So yes, Litecoin is similar setup, guys. It could break out. Um, it, it's hold. I mean, I don't. I don't own a massive amount of Litecoins currently because again, it's just been in this move uh, channel and it, this parallel channel. It's moving up and down. Uh, the RSI is quite beat down, so you could have bought around there. If it breaks above, we could see it up to the this sort of level. And I, one thing to notice, guys, people say Fibonacci levels don't work, but the, from the swing low, it bounced off 50 50 percent, then 618, now 786. It could be see it go to 886 again. I'm not sure. It's just something that I want to share with you. So Fibonacci levels do give you price targets and good guidelines it's not something to just trade off but it's good guidelines and you could understand a bit more about what's going on so yeah and like currently we're looking at similar setup guys see if we can break above it, the the 50 moving average and the crossover of the moving average and then we break out of this channel tron um, we're struggling at the 236 level and it's very tight like look at how tight this pattern is guys for Tron um, past its daily chart look how tight it is so I'm expecting there could be a breakout for Tron and we could see a move upward or lower depending on where Bitcoin moves or but yeah 
Tron is looking very tight. So there could be a potential trade in Tron because it's moving is so tight. There could be an upward or even you know it could move anywhere really. And and Tron had seen a good movement up, uh, probably better than probably some of the other coins. So there could be a potential trade. Again, I'm I'm just looking at this because there's lots of people on my channel that like Tron. So I'm doing a g g quick analysis on Tron, but it's not a trade that I'm looking to take because it's so tight like i've said um it's really tight the it's a massively tightening pattern and when it's too tight there could be some upward movement so that's what i'm looking at for tron and hopefully we have this moving averages crossover and move to the higher uh, this high and test this level um but yeah tron is really tightening equilibrium pattern we'll have to see what happens and um, the key coin that i wanted to talk to you about is polymath i like the fundamentals of this coin as well i'm not gonna lie and what i am looking at for polymath is break uh, on this is the daily chart guys if we break above the previous high guys polymath could see some good upward movement and if you look at the Fibonacci level, I assume it's in the 618. Yes, it is. It's going to move. Hopefully, it can break up the 618 level. We have a crossover of the moving averages. RSI is moving up. So this is a coin. If it breaks out, we could make some good profit. And it's a coin that has moved up a lot already compared to some of the other coins as you can see here so there is potential in this coin um so this is a coin to keep an eye out for another coin i think it was um what was the other coin there's another coin that i was looking out for i'm gonna uh, tweet about it if i find out so follow me on twitter but yeah th that's another coin that i'm looking out for so you could try to get in on the hourly and then also you can see it moved off the moving averages and it's moving up so it's, for it's forming a really really good pattern guys you this this could probably consolidate a bit because rsi is a bit sold out and then hopefully it will break above so thank you very much so that was the technical analysis guys thank you very much for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed it and learned something from it and um, i haven't been doing a lot a lot of other coin price predictions because i've been getting a lot more into technical analysis and people seem to like it and one coin that people seem to watch my videos on is ripple and xrp so i'll keep on doing more of them but i will keep other people other guys um an update on tron litecoin some of the other coins that are popular in my channel i will give you guys a price prediction update on what's been going on with those projects but I'll keep doing more ripple and xrp videos with technical analysis which a lot of people do not make so i try to combine price prediction and with my kind of trading forex and background and and talk, do a bit of a technical analysis as well so thank you very much for watching this video guys if you have enjoyed it don't forget to smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video also guys if you want to win 250 dollars worth of xrp scroll down subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button and leave your xrp address below so thank you very much for watching this video guys have a great day and i'll see you guys soon with another great video Thank you very much.